all right guys we're back this video we're going to be talking about networking in CentOS 7 we need to understand that networks gives us the advantage to connect to many computers or devices all together to share files informations and maybe we want to move a specific file through a network or through a particular server or many things like that or resources so since CentOS 7 is used for server administration and for connecting to other devices and also server or maybe whenever you want to use a web server or any other thing like that you will need connection for things like this so it is very essential for you to understand how networks really works so to get started we're going to be working with different types of just little basic networking tools or commands in this video to get started first thing i want you to do is to check a network and see if it is connected or you want to know what network you're connected to maybe it is an ethernet or a wi-fi or anything like that you can just do ip addr then enter as you can see we have information right here we can see we have lo lo really means look back and the next one we have emp 0 s3 this means the ethernet device and also we have link ether this is the internet mac address of the device and also followed by that we have inet 6 first thing is we have the inet the inet here actually stand for ipv4 and the inet here stand for ipv6 the next thing we just need to do is we can check our internet connection as we can see our ethernet is actually connected since it is up and lower up so the next thing we need to do is we need to know how to check if our internet connection is actually connected or know if it is not connected or see if it is really connected so to do that we can just turn this off come to this and turn this off and after doing that we can just use our up arrow key and do enter so as you can see we have differences there are changes between this internet details and this other internet details right here the internet details right here is actually different with the one we just see the other time because it was listing ipv4 and ipv6 this um, details in the course all right and the next thing we're going to be doing is um, checking for the internet information so to do that we can just do eth2 and enp followed by zero and s3 so when we do that you do enter then when you do enter you can see you have information about the ethernet cable we have the supported ports here supported links and the number of speed the ethernet is running and you can see the advertised post phrase no advertise auto negotiation is yes the speed is you can see 1000 mb per second and the duplex is full the port is twisted pair and so much and so forth um, there are many other things we can actually do or like checking the graphical user of the network manager we can just do nm followed by dash connections dash editor then enter so when we do that we're going to see the network connections um, graphic display comes up so that's the command to open that and see our ethernet as it is being connected 